a team flying high in League One, the, the Coventry boys. Yeah, went to see uh, Coventry City. Went to see the, uh, the troops down there. Mark Robbins is absolutely flying there at the moment. I went to find out how he's changed it, how well they've been playing, why they've been playing that well. And uh, he told me everything. Back, back at the Sky Blue Lodge. It's been a few years, mind, and it didn't look like this. I'm looking around, actually trying to find myself, but they seem to have forgot me. Cheers. Look at these. <laughs> There's no weight to them at all. It's just wasn't like that in my day. I like, I like the tunes. I like the tunes. It's cold out here. And it's changed, you know. Training's just changed. It's very technical now. We were just told to run. Nice one out there for training. <laughs> <laughs> it was shocking. It's brilliant. I mean, you'd have loved it. I mean, throwing ourselves well, about and scoring goals. Back in the day, yeah, but not now. It's far too, far too old for that now. It's far, <laughs> yeah, far, yeah, I think you're right. Far yeah. too cold. Coventry City seemed to be in such a good place. I think back to when I walked through the door, it's almost three years ago, and the fact that the club was just about to get relegated to League Two, and um, you know it was difficult times. You know, I mean, the, the supporters were devastated, angry, but you know as well as I do, having played here, the support is incredible, and they've stuck with us and supported us unbelievably. So some have followed us to Birmingham. You know, we came out of the Rico, which has been another difficult one. It's like moving house. You know, it's a bit strange for a day or two, but you, you, you adjust really quickly and we've done that. And Birmingham City have been brilliant with us, they've looked after us really well and shown a lot of class. We played them in the FA Cup in two games, which was, I think, unprecedented. And those were hard fought games and we were unlucky really to come out on the, on the wrong end of a penalty shootout. And the Sky Blues are out of the FA Cup, they really should have got through to the fifth round. So your feet are now under the table, Yeah. you get yourself, in, you get yourself into the starting lineup. And now you're getting your goals. Yeah. You've got your um, back to back hat tricks. Yeah. There's not many players that have done that. I don't know anyone that's done it. I, know, I think Harry Kane might have done it. It's, Pretty special, yeah, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's rare and I, I enjoyed it. Um, went on a mini little drought after that and scored for four <laughs> games. And then I popped up, with, uh, popped up with a goal last Tuesday night to get me back in the goals. So, yeah. You're one of the seniors, you've got a lot of kids around you. Do you feel like you, you've taken a bit of weight on your shoulders? I, I thought to myself coming in that I'm going to be one of the oldest here. Um, as hard as that is to say, <laughs> 28, <laughs> 28 years that's old. That's crazy, but, isn't it? Um, throughout the team, we've got that spine that yeah. we can all have an influence on, on players in our positions. Explain that. Explain how you got it. So basically, like there was a looping ball, and like I've checked my shoulder, and I saw the defender like drop off. So I'm following it like, over my head, and I've just flicked it. And as I flicked it, I've just went bang. And I was like, oh my God, it didn't really hurt that much. But then like, I got up and it was just like flooding out with blood. Killed his look, Sam. <laughs> oh, definitely. <laughs> definitely killed his look, that. <laughs> yeah, Rochdale sat me rather than Tuesday. That's great, isn't it? What are you expecting from that game then? I mean, Rochdale, like, they're down there, but they're still a great team. I mean, obviously, Rotherham, they're top. Just got to win every game, go in there, just focus on ourselves. For the fans, it must be difficult as well, you know, not having a, a home ground and having to travel. Yeah, it's hard for the fans because obviously we're not playing in, in the home of Coventry, but they just got to stick with us. Obviously, we've shown what we can play on the Birmingham Stadium, so hopefully we can just get these automatics. You've got two massive games coming up, haven't you? <laughs> 14 massive games. 14 massive Huge. games. How do you keep your team where they are now? If we can manage those mm. expectations that will grow, there's no doubt about that, but embrace that, you know, they're good. They've just got to keep going and keep doing the same things that have, have got them to this point. At this stage, not many people have spoken about Coventry City. Now people are starting to notice and go, oh, hang on a minute. So now it's, you know, it's, it's slightly different. If you look back to where I was three years ago, where the yeah. club was three years ago when I walked in, I'll take this every day over that. Yeah, I think you enjoyed going back there, didn't you? Although, let's be honest, yeah, as soon as you walked in, you were looking for yourself, weren't you? Where am I? Where am I? To be fair, Mark Robbins was absolutely brilliant. I think mm. I asked him, I think I must have asked him two questions and he just talked and he told me exactly what he, what he expected from the team and how the club's really helped him as a manager and how he's helped them. It was great to go back and it's great to see them. It's great to see a positive um, uh, swing on Coventry for... You know, yeah, for it's a been change. negative for a long time. Yeah, it has, yeah. Really um, what about uh, one of your old sides, Jermaine, Leeds? Because uh, only team in the top 17s 